Okay, I think we have healing under control. We got the HP buffs. Um, yeah, no, cool. I think we're in as good of a position as we can be with everything. Sacred coil has been under our noses this whole time. No, really, an old subway line. Oh, from cool. Before the invasion. Their headquarters is somewhere inside the station. What say you introduce yourselves? Yeah, what say we? What say we? Okay, first impression, first unit that enters is guaranteed to land their shot. All units entering here get plus 25 aim during the breach, but more enemies and hostile. Well, I mean, I, th I think if we get the plus 25 aim, more people are quote-unquote guaranteed to land their shots. Uh, I get, I'm going to hold off on the combat scanners. Because we only get to use it once, so we'll save that for maybe the last one if we can. If we feel like we're really desperate, cool. Follow me. Surprise! Ooh, I hear mech stomping. There he is. Android, android, mechs. All, all robots. All robots all day. Okay. Nice. Lancer shot. Now, the choice is, do we take out the turret and not take any damage? Or do we work on a higher profile target? I think I just answered my own question. We work on a higher profile target. Got four. Hey, okay, cool. I'm happy with that. We're gonna take a bit of damage, but that's okay. No need to panic. It's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of hunkering right there. Oh, nano med kit heal, new icon. Heal up to six HP. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so these guys are both gonna act, which is a bit unfortunate. Ready for action. Let's um let's send him in here Crack on Android stones. number two. Okay. He's gonna have to soak damage. Actually, I wonder if he can prime and just blow up right here. <laughs> Classic androids. Whoa. Okay, caught me off guard with that one. Nice play. Nice play. Okay, Android number two. Melting hardware. Come Don't to mama. Like it. And then the next biggest problem is going to be the turret. Wait, where's Android four? Oh, Android 4 we take. And then Blue Blood... Oh, you know what? No, let's not take Android 4. Android 4 maybe hit something, maybe not. I think we just take the, uh, the turret. Blue Blood kills the mech. She heals up Blue Blood. We could maybe get the mech kill, actually. 65. Yeah, sick. That's fine. You stay there. You can be a target for uh, Android number two now. And let's see Phase Lance. Oh. 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 Okay. Four to six damage as well. Fires a Lancer pistol in a straight line blast. The shot ignores line of sight and is unaffected by cover bonuses. Why does he get the extra damage? Not that I'm arguing with it. Three turn cooldown. Do I want to just fire this off just to kind of get an idea how it's going to work? Stepping yeah, out. I'm going to. Let's do it in a safe environment. 
before it's ready for prime time. Oh. Okay, it did four. Nice job. Okay, terminal. Let's heal. Gremlin on the way. If we want, we can try to uh, delay this another round so that she can maybe heal again. Three turn cooldown, we probably want to save. We can just let some of the other cooldowns come off. Nice crit, too. Very cool. Uh, this dude's going to explode. <laughs> so... Go back here. Get a psych up in. Edge. This dude still acts, he primes, and then shoots somebody. Nice. Man, it's so strong. It's just so strong. Or reprograms on cooldown. So it would be nice to delay a bit Watch here. My back. I don't really want to use stasis field to do that. Let's go preparation. If he kills this, it's fine. Go here, it's quite a bit safer. And then we go into that next round. Axiom gets to go move out and kill that. Is that what we do? I think so. And then this gets blue blood up to full. Hacking cooldown will be off in like one round. So that feels pretty good. Okay. <laughs> to just be sick. Automated defenses? You must have caught them by surprise. Whoa, there's a massive power source ahead of you. See if you can track it down. What does he mean automated defenses? That means we're gonna see like a bunch of turrets? Quick scan. First unit through is marked till the end of the encounter. Uh, first impression. First unit through this is guaranteed to land their shot. First unit through this entrance is rooted for one round. Okay. Uh, I'm okay with the roots on somebody like uh, Patchwork. We can put her in. She's guaranteed to land the shots. I guess we're going to save her gremlin thing for the next uh, round. So her, her shot's going to land, but then we can use her gremlin abilities. Uh, and then we followed up with this group. We're going in. Surprise! Who does she want to hit? Turret with two armor. Commandos. Oh, the Ronin. And the Guardian. Okay, Ronin. Nice, you got five on that as well. Guardian's too hard to hit there. This would be two damage. And then we could also take the shot with uh, blue blood. So that we guarantee the kill. Oh! St absolute snipe! Okay, now we go on the Guardian here. Lancer shot. Not that great. I 
And I guess we'll just take this. 59 doesn't feel that good. We're going to take two shots from these guys here. One whiff, one hit. Is there a way to consistently tell who they're going to be shooting at? Because, uh, like with Cherub's, uh, what is it called? Phalanx ability, where he's going to take all the shots as long as you go through the same entrance. That's cool, but like with Blue Blood there, you couldn't tell at all. This is actually nice that we have the high ground. Reprogram is on cooldown for a tad. Uh, Commando and the Guardian. Excellent. If I can't kill the Guardian right now, I'm going to lock him up. This purifier could come in and toast everybody, so we will have to try and take him out. Maybe that's an Axiom thing. We could kill that turret. This android acts before the turret. But he's also really far away and less scary because we know what he's going to do. This guy could hit. Let's take out the turret. Fuses. Left a mark. Now, we're only in like... Damn, we're only in half covers up here, but... Okay, is this an adrenal surge scenario? You know what? It might just be. I'm gonna go to Rage 3. Uh, this guy's gonna act next, that android. We come over here without dashing. <laughs> that was sick. A lot of damage. Okay. And then I think we just sneak back here, knock him out, take the cover. Anything we do next is going to end the turn. Actually, I'll take another psych up. And we can conserve ammo by just subduing. Do the target. Nighty night. And then by the time this guy's in like danger territory, yeah, they are like, they are all over blue blood. All over it. Now, this would be a cool place if he wasn't um, locked down. We come down here, boom, all across the way there. If I go in for this kill. Let me, let me walk through what possibly could happen to me. We would get a heal in for sure. This guy doesn't act. Terminal goes next. Um, she heals, takes a shot on the commando. Maybe it hits. That would be great. Then she either controls the android... Or just zaps the commando for the remaining kill. This guy comes out. He would get to go next round. He puts his shield on, which is kind of like whatever. There's way less enemies now. He might actually just end up shooting blue blood. That's something we do have to consider. I actually think... Okay, so... Okay, we're going to forego... We're going to forego the, um, the subdue here. Because it's our first shot with Disorient... Warm welcome, right? Yeah. So, let's fire this first. All right. There, there it is. The stock and the disorient coming through pretty hot. And then finish this guy. Terminal now heals. Need a little help? I wonder, do we just throw down... Do we throw cooperation right now? Immediate bonus action. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just kill this guy. He goes next. 
<laughs> I, love how, I love how, like, not even close his shots are right there. And those were both, what, like, 77s? Kind of crazy, if you ask me. I don't think I'm going to reprogram. Just because if we end this round, we're going to go into... Uh, we're going to go into the next room with that on cooldown. If I can't kill him, maybe I just kill the android, right? Kill the android. He gets to do whatever he's going to do anyways, because I can't kill him. Uh, I could run in there to get one zap, but it wouldn't be enough to bring him down. He only takes the one damage if we get close. The downside with this approach is that um, we have to go all in on this guy with everyone. But it doesn't matter because it's the end of the round, so... I hope that he... I hope that he just throws down a shield. Oh, he might do both. He might shield and shoot because he's in cover. Nope. Okay, that's everything. Excellent. Now, I'm not going to actually psych up here. I wouldn't mind going into that next room, and I don't want anything... This could very well just trigger it anyways. I'm just gonna take our nice I'm just gonna way. take our shots here. We're gonna have to chunk through the armor that he just put up. I'm okay with it. Uh two at 82. Now hold on a second. I want to get another heal in. So we're not going to kill him here. Yeah, no, this is better. Terminal is going to heal, and then we're going to go in for the knockdown. That also takes fine. another turn off co-op. And then we're only missing one health from the whole squad. So I think that's See? pretty, Teamwork. pretty, pretty solid. Uh, just simmer. And then you come in. Knocking him down. Oh, no! <laughs> That's that. I hate that. Fine. Fine. I didn't want him anyways. Oh, wait. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We got waves. But in a rare, very rare turn of events, we actually get to position our guys before... Breath. Pick your shots. Okay. We're going to overwatch here. Then he's going to need to reload next round. Then he'll only have one shot. So what's more valuable? Probably the damage on the way in. If they move, I'll shoot. I might as well just take this spot. It's close. And you have cover from both sides. And then I'm going to move Axiom down here in case people come through this area. I'll leave his rage where it is. Anything that moves. All right, team. What? Oh, it's a Ronin. That's Never fine. Stop. Double Ronins! Oh, and he just casually gets to go first. That's cool. No match for blades. All right, then. I see how it is. You see, like, notice this. He goes down to here. These Ronins, they get to act so much. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is the shot I have to take. I guess I should reload to be as efficient as possible here. Weapon full. Ugh, that's just... Oh, wait, what? No! Oh. Ooh, we might be back. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're... we're it, okay. Okay, we're back and uh, not set back very far at all. Let's just do the same thing here. We were on a roll. We were, I was feeling it. 
It was a bit of a momentum crusher. All right, now. Okay, good. Didn't end it. Um, ah, what do we do here? What do we do here? What's the play? I'm not concerned about this guy. I'm concerned about this guy. And it's like, it's entirely possible that this could kill him at 68%. However, um, this is guaranteed. He just gets to act again. And he's likely going to go against him, right? So I don't know if I need to worry too much about that. There is another wave remaining. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I do need to worry. Maybe I do need to worry. Maybe I throw on... Do I throw on stasis? I don't think so. I think we just let him... Like, we'll take our shot. We'll take our jolt, I mean. What's our percentage chance from here? 71. You know what? Even if we get three, it's the same as if we jolt, but we could get the five. So... Or, you know, that's also a possibility. Drop your weapon! Okay. He's rooted, disabled. He's berserk. Smashy smash. smash. Oh, sick. Out of ammo. All right. All right. All right. Cool. We could subdue. The downside with subduing is that I can't overwatch. Oh, well, I have to reload anyways, like we talked about. So. Good to go. There's that. Then we have reinforcements coming in. No overwatches. Is down and out. Okay, one more wave. Just Ronins. Just all day. All day, all Ronins. Excellent. That's... That's swell. Ceasefire doesn't do anything against them. Is he still rooted? No, he's not. I could try to move him. I could try to uh, pin him down. Knock him all the way down here. Then we would send Axiom into him, I think. She could probably kill him with the zap. Hmm. But then he gets to go before Blue Blood, so he's still a problem. Maybe this is where we... Maybe we use both of these skills here. Hey, you got this. Eighty-seven. Who wants some? I think from down here is our best chance. Making waves. I guess cover doesn't matter anyway. Oh, sick. Okay, nice job, Axiom. Need to reload. Nice job. And then he gets to go again immediately. Problem is, I can only smash this guy. I can reload and take a shot down here with the stock. Weapon reloaded. Let's uh let's take a psych up. On the edge. Oh, or you could or you could hit. Or you could hit. Dude. Insane. Insane. Two to three. Can't take that chance. He's getting zapped. Seventy fives. Uh, it would be better if I came up here. I need a better angle. We could probably dead eye this. Yeah, nice, nice. 
Okay. Counter two of three, down. Last room, let's roll. So that's the Sacred Coil Cathedral. What's it like? You notice some of like the reused stuff starship paneling, from the uh, Chosen Strongholds and stuff? Lighting. Huh. I kind of expected something more majestic. Hold on, that power source doubled its output. Whatever they're up to, it's in the next room. Oh, that sounds that sounds fun. All right, best for last. Last unit through entry is guaranteed to land their shot. We see seven enemies in here. Some are going to be aggressive. First unit through this entrance is rooted for one round, but then every other shot is going to crit. Okay, same same thing that we did before. Ah! Can I do that? Because we want her um, combat scanners here. I definitely... Okay, so maybe I put blue blood in. We're going to put blue blood in. He's going to be rooted for one round, right? Then we go patchwork, scanners, then terminal, or sorry, then axiom, then terminal. I don't know what he's standing on. Doesn't matter. He's laser focused and successful shots crit here. So let's make him count. Let's make sure that these are all selected. There was a mission a little while back. People pointed out that I'd selected this, but then swapped people around and it got messed up. So don't bunch up. I'll try and double check that going forward. I think everybody's at full health now, too. Okay, what do we count? We see five. Purifiers, Commandos, Mechs, Guardian at 90, and him. Guardian at 90 is going to be tough, isn't it? But shots are guaranteed to crit. Let's take this. Lancer shot. Beautiful. Ninety-nine, eighty-two. Oh, is he dead? He's not even dead. He's not even dead. Uh, we could take this with the stock, but I think we're better off putting it in here now. Seventy percent on the guardian. Come on. Deadly. Okay. Jeez. Oh, and a Ronin. Oh, and Bellis Mar. Oh, sick. We couldn't even see them. Sacred coil. This is the. This is the leader. Their whole deal. Okay, well, well then, well then, well then, this is, this is good. So, he's actually in a pretty fine position. Uh, the Disorient, I don't know how that's going to go against this, but if I can kill the leader guy right away, I will happily do so. Uh, we could take the medkit heals, but it does six, we're only missing three. We also have team up, we're definitely going to want to use. There's reinforcements coming already from where okay so that's different overload the first generator clear the psionic gate room overload the first generator okay phase lance uh we could hit yeah no we're not gonna be doing that okay so we're going dead eyes on bellis mar Beautiful. You just do that again. Oh! Immune to mental status effects. Don't care. He's dead. He immune to death? Okay, blue blood. Okay, blue blood. I got you. I got you. I got you. Take the android. Hopefully. 91. You know these are going to... These 80, these high 80s, low 90s on these Android hacks, they're gonna, it's gonna fail at the exact wrong time. Thankfully not yet. And I hit the robot, the mech. Ah, dirty. I can't, I can't hit the mech. So that means he's gonna launch missiles at us, isn't he?
Who can he see? He can see the Ronin. Is this too early to team up? Not knowing what's coming? I mean, Ronin's in full cover, too. Hmm. I could, uh... You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's lock down Mr. Ronin. Causing hostile. Uh, command. Oh, wait a second. Did I screw something up there? Oh, right. Yeah, we went for the hack first. My bad. I was thinking uh, we'd have another action there. Uh, we don't, for the record. We don't. Let's psych up. Hopping over. Let's go, Axie, baby. Come on, buddy. We could have went for the shotgun blast, but it's got the armor. Ah! Oh, please, smash again. Skull. Oh, boy. All right, at least he's in the shroud. All right. There's something positive. If I was this mech, I'd be launching missiles up at our group. Yep, here they come. Robot minds think alike. It's not bad. Blue blood is, uh... <laughs> he's in a yikes type of scenario right now. Let's One really nice side. thing that the game does when you uh, Just do like I a need. healing skill, it targets the lowest all the time in my experience. Super cool. Uh, who's acting next? Purifier? That's probably bad. Not much I can do there, unfortunately. This doesn't really have a huge effect down there. So... Throw this on the mech. Solo. Solo. We go. Oh, he's moving twice. Whoa, what the frick? Oh, okay. That's where they're coming from. Wow. Okay. Shut down those generators. Shut down those generators. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whoa. 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 Wow. Uh, this looks phase lancy, perhaps. Does it though? This hits these two guys. I might as well take a shot first, right? And then phase lance. I think so. We got two chrysalids. This commando could be an easy pickup for us. Uh, he's shrouded. That's our regular shot. Yeah, 54, so maybe not. Chrysalid, I guess. Do I need to heal? You know what? Um, maybe. We still have team up. What do I do? Ronan's going to come out after this. So maybe that's where we team up. Somebody. Drop in the hammer. Put some damage on the front guy. Yeah, cool. It's good. Ooh. Do we just... Do we just throw him at this group, maybe? I feel like if I'm doing it from here, 
Aren't they both going to get hit? Oh, is that hitting our boy? Why is he raging? Oh, yep, it is. Okay. It's a little bigger than I anticipated. Okay, stasis down. Now, there is some nice chaining opportunity here. Let's take the heal. Hate to say it. I think we team up here. Uh, do we give it to Axiom, though? I think we give it to Blue Blood. Skip all this stuff. And see if his chances are okay at hitting that Ronin. If not, Ronin does his thing. And we try to kill other stuff. I could take out the Chrysalid for sure. Actually, if I if I if I zap the Ronin, then we guarantee kill him with uh, the two stock shots from Blue Blood. I think that's the play. Zapping the target. All right, I guess that helps. Oh, cool! Oh, the stun thing proc the first time. That's awesome. Well, I mean, we've used it a bunch, but uh, first time on, like, a human enemy. Okay, so he's he's stunned for both of his actions. We don't need to worry about him right now. Uh, we do need to worry about getting to this area soon. 96 on this chrysalid. You just take the regular shot on this one. Or... We try and put him into phase two. Let's do that. Okay, phase two. That knocks him to the bottom. That knocks him down. This chrysalid I can't kill. Unless we crit and it did and rolled max damage. But we can kill this other chrysalid. Alrighty. Stunned. See you later, Ronan. Now, I kind of need to get over there, don't I? Psych up. Hello, neighbor. Alrighty. Now, should I overload this generator right now? I don't see reinforcements coming. I'm just worried that, like, like maybe I can be... Maybe I can focus these guys down before triggering whatever this is going to trigger. <sighs> is that... Is that what I should be doing? I'm going to I'm going to see what happens if I'm going to see if more reinforcements plan to come in here. Oh, nice whiff. He's got the uh the bonus defense there. This is going to hurt. Oh boy. Oh god. Ragey boy though. Okay. Terminal. Heal him. We do need a, a small amount of damage here so that the zap and patchwork kills it. I think we take this. Do I want to use cooperation? Nah, I don't think so. All right. And we let you sit there. Your fire is disoriented. Cool. 
then ooh. <laughs> do I just stasis Ronin again here? Do I stasis Ronin? I think so. Yeah, let's do it. Stasis Ronin. Uh, zap the shell. I don't have any, like, reinforcements or anything happening, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to try to clear this room before we do anything that could have dire consequences. This chrysalid's a bit of a problem, but blue blood's right there. Okay. Yep, cool. I'm nearly dry. I know, buddy. I think we go uh, dead eye here for max damage. Heads up. Wow. So how is that 50% extra damage? I guess if he rolled Well it's a pistol, right? So he does Yeah, I'm not sure. Subdue could kill him. I mean it's it's possible. Not today. That was a bad caller. Oh, wait a sec. Was that his stun? I think that stun was coming off there, right? Oh, I might have misplayed that. I might have over CC'd him, actually. Whoops. Okay, Chrysalid's acting next. I'm gonna psych up. Ready for action. I don't love the idea that I'm sitting right next to this turret. Or the purifier, for that matter. Let's come out here for a sec. We've got uh, the damage that we need. The stock. Okay, I'll take it. Radial overwatch. Axiom heal. Need a little help? Thanks. I guess. And then we could push this guy down the timeline. Just like full manipulation. Okay. Stasis has ended now. And that puts us in a pretty good spot to set up a kill on him. for the zaps here. Blue blood. I'm out. Let's get a reload in. Back in action. 78, buddy. Come on, big boy. Oh, he's got the stock anyway. It doesn't matter. There it is. Sick. And now we start burning. Oh, wait, is he doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that ain't good. <laughs> I can't get them out of there before it blows, unfortunately. That is uh, a bit of a problem. Hmm. Let's psych up here. Reload. Weapon reloaded. It's unfortunate. This thing is nearly empty. Okay, so I can give a cooperation to move one of these guys out. I think we move uh, patchwork. Mind you, Patchwork has... Let's think about this. Oh, she does not have the heal. Okay. Still. 
Do we want to move? Like, I kind of like this high ground. Oh, well, high ground with full cover. Didn't even see that. Blue Blood, you're just going to tank that, buddy. It's all yours. Uh, we're going to heal ourselves. Okay. That's okay. At least. That's okay. Purifier. Okay, reinforcements are coming. So let's go. Fire's coming my way. So now I think in this scenario. In this scenario, he can't see this, so we're just gonna preparation here. Uh wait, maybe I'll move just a tad. I don't know if we can recatch it. Sometimes that's a little bit sketch. Maybe I'll switch him over. So he's got a different part of the room covered. Rolling out. Go there. Put out the fire. And then... I mean, I guess I'll tank this overwatch to get in there. That looks like it might have hurt. Ooh, dodge graze. Okay. Go. Ooh. Ooh, that looks bad. See? What the actual F? Gatekeepers. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. What's wrong with Okay, well, there's pros and cons here. Ammo's nearly out. Okay, we have huge pros and cons here. Pro? Just the gatekeeper. Con? Ooh. Overload the second generator. Is that, uh... Should I force this? Is that going to spawn more? What do we do, man? What do we do? The ceasefire affect this? Throwing grenade. Only one way to find out. Weapon disabled. Sick. I mean, okay. <laughs> this might be bad. We might get reinforcements and we might trigger additional stuff. But I'm... Oh! Oh! Okay, now I see. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get what the point is now. I see. So overloading this, it like brought this thing like online. Overloading this kills it. Oh, dudes. Okay, we're in a we're in a, we're in a fantastic position right now. Absolutely fantastic position. Uh, we're gonna dead eye both of these. So I guess yeah, like two to three, three to four on your regular shot. Okay. So if you roll absolute low, let's say you roll three damage on the dead eye. Then I guess, like, the 50% the boost is one and a half, and they round down. That's how we get to four. I could phase lance. Norse line of sight is unaffected by cover bonuses. Okay, but what about armor? I don't know. I don't know if that takes into account his, um, his armor piercing rounds. Think fast. Oh, nice crit, dude. Wow. Okay. Okay. Gatekeeper. Jolting the target. Eat it. Don't knock precision. I could have went either way. Dude, sweet. That was awesome. That could have went either way with this. That, I don't know in the future if that's too risky. But uh, it was like worst case scenario. Reinforcements are coming in next turn. Uh, maybe this, I don't know. It worked out, so I'm pretty happy. A couple of wounds, excellent rating. A lot of HP on those guys. Those suit things helped. The medkit heals helped. Damn. Didn't even get to see what the boss did. Destroyed him. Ronin locked down permanently. Gatekeepers, 
chilled one turn. That was sick, actually. Intel, uh, credits, anarchy, down, unrest, down. Cherub completed, unlock potential, cool. So he's got um, more mobility now. We had to remove a scar that reduces mobility, but now he has even more. Uh, Troop Becker Syndrome, known variously as Dwindle, Red Vengeance, and The Fade, is more than just a threat to hybrid populations worldwide. Hybrids are the truest amalgam of human and alien DNA. Should the disease jump species or should someone find a way to do so artificially, we'll have a worldwide pandemic on our hands with little to no warning. Confidential report to the Global Truth Reconciliation Commission. Cool. Excellent work, Chimera Squad. Sacred Coil got more than they bargained for when they threw open that gate. That gatekeeper must have been sent here five years ago. It was stuck in transit since XCOM won the war. Scattered cells remain throughout the city, but Sacred Coil as an organization is no more. So, I wonder, had we... I'm just thinking back. So with with uh, Axiom, we were actually right in the hunch that that's going to trigger something, but we were wrong in the hunch of what it was going to trigger. And then that second one, it was to shut it down, but that wasn't super clear to me, so that's a, I'm a little confused. No dark events now, faction defeated. Sick, guys. I'm so pumped. After reviewing the intel from your investigation, we're left with more questions than answers. Sacred Coil wanted to assemble and open a psionic gate. This required secrecy. Mayor Nightingale's death made their goal more difficult to achieve. Worse, there are clear signs they had external backing. Until we know more, we've designated their silent partner, Atlas. Atlas. Should we run down leads on Atlas? No, there's too little to go on. Mayor Nightingale's death remains your priority. I you mentioned two other groups who could have aided her killers, but... Focus on one. If Atlas becomes more than just a theory, we'll update. Okay, so now... We decide to go to the Progeny or Grey Phoenix. Now, in my testing, I did a little bit of Grey Phoenix fighting, did a little bit of Sacred Coil fighting. So I'm kind of excited to go against the Progeny. Um, a loose network of human scions, their vision for City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Uh, the Progeny has intensified initiation rights for thralls, resulting in greater damage endurance. I don't know what the, I don't know what thralls are. Gray Phoenix has the funding to hire more mercenary muscle. So it's just like hints as to what were greater damage endurance. So like high HP pools. I don't know. The progeny have a small but loyal human Let's membership, do it. all with psionic capability. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need, and then forget the whole thing. The perfect crime. Okay, so we're going to be in like big time learning mode right now. We need to know more about the project before we can proceed with our investigation. Has intensified initi- Oh, so this is a dark event. Oh, okay. Okay. Promotion for Axiom. Oh, hello. So Shelter, Claymore, or Zephyr. Claymore is cool. I didn't get to try Shelter. Didn't get to try Zephyr. Psionics, ally buff. Mental attacks. Relocate. Agent psionically swaps positions with the targeted enemy or ally. Does not automatically end the turn. And then he'll get uh, launching a psionic blast that disorients all enemies near the breach point. Targeted enemy is disoriented for an extra turn. One use permission. That seems pretty strong. Zephyr. Close quarters, high mobility. Agent punches an enemy and inflicts one of several status effects. Blitzes towards an enemy and melee attacks them after the breach. Position near the enemy if the enemy is alert, their breach status is cancelled. Okay. We kind of have a lot of, like, melee guys, right? We've got Axiom. We've got um, Cherub. This, some Psionics. I like that. Now, is this going to be... Is this going to be good to have against Progeny or bad to have against Progeny, you know? It's tough to say. Um, but let's pick Shelter. His biography as well. So he's from Chile, lived on a farm with his parents, two siblings, an extended family, separated from his family, collected and processed into a resettlement camp, exhibited signs of psionic aptitude, dropped into an advent program studying the capabilities of human-born psions, so that's prisons, fled advent after being forced to kill dozens of criminals with his psionic abilities. 
quote unquote criminals connected with a resistance group. They brought him out for on for his agricultural knowledge. He kept his psionic abilities secret. He relied on his psionic abilities to defend against a terror attack at 31 years old. Reluctantly joined XCOM for formal psionic training. Transferred to the Reclamation Agency at its inception. Requested placement in Chimera Squad at the behest of his fellow agents. Yeah, that's, that relocate swap thing seems pretty cool. Alright, promotion for Axiom. Fear Factor. Upgrade Smash to give it a chance to panic nearby enemies. Chances increase with Rage. Or... Uh, regenerate small amount of HP at the beginning of their turn. Yes, please. I feel like I don't have to think too hard about that, but I mean, this is where the city stashed guaranteed us. stuff, right? Hey, shelter. Eh, it's not so bad. I don't need my psionics to tell you're lying. Not lying, just morale building. I'll make do. <laughs> Anything good to eat? I saved some chili for you. The red bowl in the fridge. Now that's morale building. You guys look like they could be brothers almost. All right, cool. Let's back out here. A lot of stuff happened. Training complete. Mobility's up. Excellent. Agents idle. Paydays. Critical mission. Investigate the progeny. All right. So City, City 31 unrest has become more serious. From now on, any ignored mission. Oh, okay. Any ignored mission adds three unrest. Any ignored situation adds one. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is all we can do, so cool. Now, okay, one thing that's uh, maybe been throwing me off, and it might be confusing to you guys, because it's confusing to me, but we see how this is, like, glowing? It's pulsing. There's no mission there, but does that mean that's just going to increase just because, like, just because they want to? Is that the, is that the deal? All right, it's time to swap some of these guys around, I'm thinking. Uh, so... Patchwork. What if I put you in for training? What are, what are your options? Utility item slots. Sure. Why don't we put you here for now? Enhanced shotguns. Uh, yeah, I should also check. What kind of gun does he have? Submachine gun. All right, you know, based on that, so submachine gun, submachine gun, submachine gun, pistol, pistol. So after this shotgun, submachine guns all the way, right? Uh, Torque, you're going to join us. And I wonder, should we bring new guy right away? It's tough to know what kind of stuff we're going to run into. I think... Okay, let's do this. So, why don't we put him in for basic HP training? Straight up. We'll see you in a couple days. Get stronger. That way, when we experiment with you, it doesn't totally backfire. Blow up in our face. Um, we could put Cherub in here. If we want. Yeah, let's put Cherub in here. Crisis management, sure. Uh, I'm going to continue grabbing intel. Because now, now that these are all, um, we have places everywhere, we can start to, um, uh, we can start to level them up. And we also want to have money for the uh, black market thing that swings by every once in a while. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Investigating the progeny, very difficult. Smuggling black market goods. See if you can catch them red-handed. How many... Okay, so three encounters. Keypad door, window, vehicle. Okay. I'm going to give... Uh, actually, I'm going to buy another mock weave. Yeah, let's do it. So he can keep his. Torque now. <laughs> uh, I can't remember who it was. There was uh, either somebody in the comments or somebody on Discord. They were like, oh, I found this really cool combo. Like, uh, 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 Torque, once she levels up, she gets to have the extra dodge or whatever. And I was like, oh, cool. And I was like, just wait. I got something better for you coming. And this was the whole plan. 90 dodge? Almost unfair. 
Uh, here's the smoke bomb. Temporarily boost defense, reduces hostile barrage damage at single breach point. And then medkits. Medkit, medkit, medkit. She's got her own medkit. Uh, stock, stock. He's gonna lock down. Don't know if this smoke bomb is that good here. But I guess she will be higher up in the uh, order preference, right? So I think we go like Axiom, Torque, Blue Blood Terminal, generally. Um, should be okay. All right, guys, wish me luck. Uh, investigation number two underway. Hope you enjoy. See you soon. Bye for now.